the saxophone, like many of these kind of Euro European instruments that I believe after the Civil War were readily accessible to, to Blacks in, in certain parts of the South, right? Um, and, and they use them in, in order to make their, you know, to make their own music or produce these, these very different sounds from them. The trumpet is the, the first one to really kind of create an individual voice within jazz music, but uh, the saxophone really kind of takes the role as being the key instrument for that particular music. It's an instrument that was used as a vehicle for self-expression, but also um, an economic kind of empowerment as well. Texas is really known to have like a key group of, of tenor saxophonists to come out of this area who really range in, in terms of their music styles from um, kind of more swing jazz to, to free jazz to more even like uh, soul and kind of pop variations on the instrument. It's a very rich tradition of, of tenor saxophonists coming out of this area. And so that's, that's who the piece is really um, you know, commemorating and trying to recall call that group of musicians. Early on, there was an element of ritual. There's also an element of practice. Right, I started off doing these kind of vocal exercises. Later, as I started to uh, invite other people into the into the performance. Namely, this uh, a trumpeter named Gerard Taylor, who did the performance with me in San Francisco, and recently uh, Jemire Williams, who who did it here in Houston. Um, I got away from the from the from the voice thing and tried to add more um, musical elements in regards to the the poetic kind of element in it, and also um, recently the playing of this conch shell horn. <laughs> When Texas Fire Tender, when the horn itself is presented inside the gallery, um, there's not a traditional pedestal which is, it's, uh, is used to, to present the work, but it's uh, placed on top of a, a railroad tie. I was using the railroad tie because of its connection to, to blues lore, right? And the, the train within blues music and the connection um, um, of blues to, you know, the, the Texas tenor sound, right? So I was trying to, to, to mix up, you know, those different kind of histories and kind of, and that kind of materiality um, as well. This may be the last time I'm performing this, this work. After this, it'll become part of a series um, of performances that's called Learning to Work the Saxophone. And I had gotten this idea um, very early um, after doing Texas Fried Tenor, but really kind of because of the, 
the pain involved, at least for me, with performing <laughs> or the uncomfortability of performing. I kind of I put it on the back burner, but I do want to switch to a, um, another um, kind of way of thinking about the saxophone, the way of thinking about these artists who utilize the saxophone as their vehicle of expression. So, you know, it'll become, yeah, it'll just, it'll become one in a, a series of, of performances around that, that instrument in those uh, creators. Thank you. 